We've talked on the show before about how we use laser scanning and 3D printing technology as part of our reconstruction process, but we've always been kind of limited by the size of our printers. The printers that we've been using have build plates on them that are so small that we've always had to go into the computer and cut apart our digital images so that we could print out smaller sections and then later glue those together. It worked, but it was kind of labor intensive and time consuming. This printer, on the other hand, is big enough we can print whole bones on it. And it's opening up all kinds of possibilities of what we can do in the lab. Today, I'm talking to the guy who built it for us. So yeah, my name's Clay Guillory. I'm a mechanical engineer. So I design my own custom 3D printers. I also design my own custom prosthetics and, or and bionics. Uh, I also run a job shop. So I have three branches of Titan Robotics. I have the 3D printer manufacturing and repair and upgrade ability side of it. Then I also have the 3D printer job shop. I also have the robotics, prosthetics, and bionics division. So it's a very niche market. There's only a couple players in this game. Uh, I'm definitely at the forefront of the heaviest duty large scale 3D printer around. There are lighter duty ones with aluminum extrusions, but mine's all steel welded, precision machined, you know, lifetime printer. Like it will outlast its users, hopefully by a long shot. <laughs> so to be able to build a 3D printer from scratch, you obviously have to know CAD. You have to be able to design every single part of the machine and know that it'll work and test it out in the simulation. Then you have to be able to cut the steel, weld it, machine it, paint it, assemble it, calibrate it, make sure everything is perfectly aligned, and then you start wiring it up and then calibrating it again and then doing some test runs and you got a finished machine. Obviously with 3D printers you have, it's kind of a battle, you have the higher the resolution, the slower the print, you can effectively double the resolution and it will double the print time. So it really depends on how fast the part needs to be prototyped and you know the resolution that's required. If there can be hand finishing done, if, uh, you know, if someone has the patience, like the Dinosaur Resource Center, to go and you know, sand every part of the plastic perfectly smooth, then we can do a print in half the time. But you know, there's, there's trade-offs to that, and it kind of just depends on what the customer's looking for. So I can see the future of 3D printing going bigger than it already is, and I'd like to be at the forefront of that, uh, you know, such as concrete printing and very large-scale machines that are multi-purpose machines. So you have a router, a CNC mill, a 3D printer, and a concrete printer all in one. So you can basically put together an entire house with one machine. Yeah, so I'll be giving a TED Talk uh, in September in Loveland, Colorado, about how 3D printing can and will better our society. Yeah, maybe I am pushing the limits of 3D printing a little more than most people. And so that's kind of garnered more attention than you know, someone else that's bought a maker bought at Home Depot. But it's, I'm no different from them, and I just have a little more desire to give back to society. And so that has allowed me an invitation to the TED Talk, TEDx Sentara in Loveland, Colorado. Yeah, as far as like helping out society, not too many people realize that they can do it with any 3D printer. So there's an organization called Enable. Enablingthefuture.org is the website. You can go to that and you can see the possibilities of what you can do with a 3D printer. With the new large-scale 3D printer that Clay built for us, we've already been able to print off much larger bones to use on our Displetosaurus reconstruction project. Take a moment to subscribe to the channel, and as always, stop by and see us in person at the Dinosaur Resource Center in Woodland Park, Colorado. Until then, I'm Jacob. Thanks for watching.